I like reading a lot. It just takes me places. I think I'm that person in the book. Mm. The one that's romantic and all that. That's just it. I'm hooked on reading and hooked on romantic books. Op voorwaarde, on condition. Hmm? Did you know? That is what they ask. Did you know? Wanneer jy in romanse lees, veroorzaak dit in a chemical reaction, man, ek uitdoen, ek kan nie Afrikaans lekker, wees in your brain, wat jou goed laat voel, makes you feel good. Dit verlig die stress op een natuurlijke manier. You know what that means, nie? I like books, mm. romantic books. That's what I said. I, it takes me places. I can myself for myself, as I said it. I can only buy it from it. I can still read and I can a book read and as as I buy a good thing for me, then can I get near something. <laughs> I love reading. It's a totally different world. It sets you free. <laughs> I like the, the emotional part, the loved ones. Like I, I like the Neil Steele book. It's action also there. And then I like Ina Marais, that omnibus book. If I read it, sometimes I cry. Sometimes I laugh. I don't know, it just affects me if I read a book. It's doing something in my system. And when the people kiss and they make up, then there's joy coming out. I can't express it, but that's happening all the time. You <laughs> you relive your 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 young <laughs> life, ne? Yeah. When you something it. like this. Uh, yeah, it, I, I like to read it. The teenage the, years. The teenage years, your all those uh, happy times. Mm. I say, <laughs> so you wish you could go back to that. <laughs> Our days were lucky, wonderful days, man. You know. Mm. You can't, mm. you just can't go away from that. They were wonderful, wonderful days. Mm. And now you think back and you live back to that. You look back and if you see something on the TV or you read a book, this is the way I was when I was mm. young, you know? So it keeps you... I only became uh, aware of men, really aware of them, when I was about 33 years old. So I'm 48 years now. My son is 40. That was the only real relationship I, I thought I had at that time. But now, uh, but it didn't went well. It didn't really, it didn't went well. You get different types of romances. Yeah. yeah. The mouse and bones, like Anne Finn said, is more to the point. Is you it? see? And, and the Afrikaans fiction books is like the when they age. were young. Mm. No, no, man, listen. Yeah. Melson Boone said I read is very uh, conservative. I, I don't know. Conservative, but it's always like, it's not a teenage Ow! thing. It's always adults mm. I'm reading about. You know, to escape from your real life. life. Yeah. Mm. Maybe it's a dry, normal pattern. life. Now you move away yeah. and read and then. And just to relax. <laughs> then it starts because then you're looking for that. <laughs> and if it doesn't come. Melanie. <laughs> 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 
only 2% of men reading romantic books. Né? They want to feel what a woman feels like. What, what she actually think about is but one thing they can say. These people that try to, to find out what's going on in these romances and their wives and they want to, you know, those are, those are very, very clever men. Of course, yes, because they lacked in it really sometimes. Sometimes you need them, they must tell you, I love you, or then you must drag it out of some, some men. They don't tell you, I like that, you look nice, I appreciate it. Ew. Yes. I think they must read more. Oh, they don't. Man likes it. Yeah, yeah, because men think they can only be romantic in the room. Sometimes a yes, stave a person, eh? And then as the man, the man is by a romantic. No, leer you can book and work and so a man to keep a man in the house, you see? Yeah. Because if you was stave you out of the window, my pro. Yeah. Who's an angry inside? Must get my sister to the way. You see? How to do things. How to act. My husband doesn't agree with my, me reading these romance books. He says I must read more in-depth books. But I enjoyed it. I feel I relax when I read those books. Oh yes, my dear, because listen, you know, your actions, né? you read these books. You pass your husband, you give him a kiss. You, or you just touch him, or you just tell him, oh, I love you. That's now women. That's the way women act. Or that understanding look. Yeah. yeah. Because man doesn't, man, you know, if, if a man is... Tell me about this look. What do you mean about this look? <laughs> the, what is the look? The understanding yeah. look. Good mama always say. He knows it. He knows exactly. As a kid from Nandlas, for me, I give him that understanding look. And he knows it. I don't know. He knows it. He knows it. <laughs> Mama! <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's very difficult, people. Going into books is very, very difficult. Going into any marriage or any romance, it's not that. Uh, uh, or roses and, you know, and moonlight. It's, it's very, very difficult. You know, my whole family is a romantic mm. family. You know. I can't help it. <laughs> Can you help it? <laughs> yeah. That's the way we yeah. yeah. no. Women are very romantic. Mm. If so, if, we like to do some nice things for your man. Like for instance, if he comes home, you put the roses on the stairs, then he must follow the roses in the stairs, then he knows what's going to happen up there. But men, men don't think those things. And those things are so nice and romantic. But they don't do those little things. Candlelights, soft music. Nowadays, that, that rap, that's not music. They swear that oh, no, no, I need the soft music, the nice times. It is real, but after a while it's fading, you know, in, in, in real life. That's why that uh, uh, romance is there for a certain period in your life. But after that you become like brother and sister. That's true. If you're married for a long time. But I mean, if you are married and you've got someone in your life, romance can help you fulfill that feeling that you don't get from your husband.